Hello and welcome to another episode of the PDW Dosimetry School podcast series. Today here from Mainz live from the Rhein-Main-Nahe Radiation Therapy Center for an interview with the owner, Dr. Metzmann, and the senior medical physicist, expert, Mr. Christian Born, about the use of the Varian Halcyon and the PDW Beamscan system. Let's go and have a look on it. Dr. Metzmann, you have decided to purchase a Varian Halcyon accelerator. Are you satisfied with your choice? I'm very satisfied with my decision to have purchased the Halcyon therapy device. The preparations, namely the setup, were done very quickly and could be performed without any problems during normal patient operation. The quality assurance which had to be performed by the medical physics department the quality controls were also very fast and the training time for the medical radiology assistants was very short. Within three to four days, safe patient operation of the device was already possible. The Halcyon is a device with a slightly different appearance. It is more familiar to patients. But it's not just the design of the device, it's the technology behind it. It allows for very precise therapy with very good imaging and at the same time a very short bedtime for the patient. Dr. Metzmann, thank you very much for this interview. Mr. Born, thank you very much for the opportunity to have this interview in your radiotherapy regarding the Halcyon system and the PDW measurement technology. My first question is, there is a rumor in the medical physicist world that claims you do not need a measurement system for the Halcyon device, since it is ready configured upon delivery. What is your experience in this regard? Well, even if the data for the Halcyon has been already supplied to us by the manufacturer, i.e. variant for the planning system, we are of course required to check whether these values also correspond with the reality that we measure with the beam scan phantom in water. In addition, we are also required by law to check the consistency of the machine in terms of lateral distribution, depth dose curve and so on in water at least every six months. We also need the beam scan for this. Of course, we also use the beam scan to determine reference values for measuring equipment with which we could make the checks much more frequent. With solid state phantoms, we naturally checked in the beginning, in the first month, every morning and every evening, that there was no drift of the Halcyon device output, no fluctuations. We also perform other measurements with solid state phantoms, for which we have also established the reference values with the beam skin. Mr. Born, what is your experience in using the PDW beam scan in the Halcyon machine? Because the Halcyon has no light field, the highly automated setup of the beam scan is very helpful. The measurement in the Halcyon machine with the beam scan is very much simplified for us medical physicists. The three main reasons I see for the fast setup of the beam scan are firstly, in the adapter plate, with the quick lock on the carriage of the beam scan so that you can position the water tank on the Halcyon table within a few minutes. The second reason is the increased pumping power when filling the water tank with the water. But the pumping power is reduced 2 cm below the target height so that the ripples on the water surface are very small after the water surface reaches the target value. This means, which is the third reason, that the automatic leveling of the water surface using the beam scan's water sensor can be done very quickly after the water has been filled. You save a lot of time with this automatic leveling of the water surface compared to the adjusting screws. 
on the Phantom as was necessary in the past. You say 30 to 45 minutes setup time. That seems quite long for the beam scan system. You're right. During this time, we also depositioned the Phantom. That means we raised the table by two millimeters so that the water surface was no longer at the center and checked outside via imaging that this was detectable. And yes, this is recognizable. In the same way, we also moved the Phantom as a whole two millimeters below the center. This is also recognizable so that we have ensured via the imaging control from outside that we can see exactly if we are with the water surface at the isocenter or not. This means that without this control, you can actually do the setup of the beam scan phantom alone as a single medical physicist within 20 to maximum 30 minutes until you can start with the actual measurements. Mr. Born, thank you very much for this great interview. I am already looking forward to the next time.